Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to another episode here on the Revenge of the Sea Team and I am here with Ice, who is not even a real person, but uh, yeah, no, I'm here on the Revenge of the Sea Team server, we've been uh, mega busy. Uh, yeah, let me introduce you to Ice, this this, this is Ice, um, purely because she's wearing an icy outfit um, and she's an NC, N, NPC which basically means you create this wand and you can edit these people. I haven't worked out how to do anything other than make someone put an outfit on them and make them wander around, but I think we can do lots of cool things with these, but I need to look it up and research it. She's turning her back on me. Don't turn your back on me. Um, yeah, so uh, that's, uh, that's something I've been playing around with. The other thing I've been doing between episodes is getting this ready over here. As you can see, we have an area which is, and, and you're not allowed out, okay? Um, yeah, we have an area set up and we've put all these wonderful trees down here, which has got lots of fruit on it, lots of um, stuff growing, and we're going to make some more. So those, those stuff I left at the end of the last episode, we planted them, they've grown. And then I've got this area over here, which is a garden area. So have I got any seeds on me? No, I don't. They're probably in here. So let's just go and have a look. And put my wand away. That's what I... I Mabel? Who's Mabel? You're, where's Ice? Ice, are you still around? Is, is, she, is she gone? Have I changed her? What have I done? What have I done? No, I think I've got uh, two here. So let's get Mabel and delete because we don't want to delete don't, there's ice over there look so yeah delete mabel there we go and put my wand away stop it get that big thing out okay so we'll close the gate um i do believe when she can't get in any way she does teleport to that location but um we've got two backpacks uh where did i get this other one from i think someone dropped it um i think i killed someone and they dropped it and it had a load of cobblestone and picks and things like that in it. So yeah, some kind of miner had it on and I got it. This one is obviously mine. And somewhere in here we shall have a load of stuff which I can't find anywhere. Where have I put it? Uh, maybe it's in my bag. Maybe I put it into my golden bag that I also got as a drop. There they are. Yes, they are. Um, so we've got all this stuff here and what we're going to do is plant that today. So uh, I've made this sort of little garden here at the moment. We'll probably change this at some point to be more, um, how should we say, more uh, automated. Uh, I think that's something we definitely need to do. So let's get rid of some of this stuff out of my inventory. Don't need that, don't need that. But yeah, look at all these seed. Cactus, curry, mustard, cantaloupe, grape, water. Ah, just so many. So I don't know how many of these we can plant. For example, cactus, I'm betting Oh, well maybe you can plant them. Ah, but you can't plant them next to each other. Okay, fair enough. Um, are they? Uh, yeah, and they are disappearing when I do that as well. So um, maybe we don't want to be doing that. And they've gone all together. Okay, but yeah, I'm guessing they grow into cactus plants, which is uh, no good if you want to put them like that. But I'm going to go through these seeds, curry leaf, uh, and see what we can actually grow. Interesting. And... Uh, yeah, I'll probably put a load in my inventory, plant them all up, or see which ones I can plant, and see what they grow into, I guess. Um, we have our garden growing here and uh, it's growing quite nicely actually and I think if we right click we can get our crops which is pretty good because we can then start growing them again so I want to get this where we've got these going all the way down so when they mature I think you can use bone meal as well for that um, do we get anything there where did that go 
Where did that go? My strawberries. It wasn't a mushroom, was it? No, definitely strawberries. Um, okay. Uh, but yeah, so these are uh, these are obviously growing, and that's pretty cool. We can get these uh, harvested then, and we can start then having like winter squash and all the rest of it. And start messing around with the Pam's Harvest recipes, but. Uh, while they're all growing and and again we could do the same with these trees these trees when they're mature we just right click and the fruit drops off and carries on growing so that's pretty awesome um, nice few plums there right this path it leads over here because something else I want to get into today is a little blood magic yeah so I want to have a little play with this because I've not played with it and I do believe as we get uh, get into it more it becomes uh, better so I've set up this area here, this is where we're going to do it, and I thank our cup of tea. I think we deserve that after all that gardening. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to set ourselves up some blood magic here. So we've got a little bit of crafting to do. This is where I want to put the altar. It's going to go in the middle. Um, and it's kind of cool because this will be the top where we do stuff. And we kind of still see our bit over there, but it's also hidden away as well. I quite like the fact that it's hidden away, so uh, let's just get rid of that. Uh, okay, blood altars. So this is all the blood magic stuff, and a blood altar is quite simple to make. Uh, it's literally just stone, diamonds, gold, and a furnace. So we can do that. We can make that. We can put some diamonds in there and some gold, and yeah, fairly straightforward. And what if we get an achievement for this? Mm, maybe we do. Maybe we don't. I don't know. But we have a blood altar. That looks cool, doesn't it? I love the shape and the animate. Well, it's not animation, but. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but that in itself is not enough. I do believe we need to get some blood in there, um, and I do believe we can do it ourselves. So, again, uh, where's the crafting table? So, now I do believe it's those, that, and that. Yes, and we get ourselves a sacrificial knife, which is this thing up here. Um, there are other ones, uh, a dagger. But that can cause bad things as well, and I think we can use these orbs as we get into things. But I think for now, and we do get an achievement there. Um, what did we get? Your first brick. <laughs> nice. Um, now, what tends to happen on here, you can see I've got 11 hearts. Uh, you can see that because I have the orange one on there as well. And that's because I do have... Um, not there, but I do have there one canister. I've made it one canister. I haven't got enough of the. I think it's the bones, the bones from the nether we've got to get. So we need to get some more of those and put our heart canisters up. But if we come up here and we're close to the altar and we right click, yes, you can see each time we do it, we get hearts go down. But you don't want to obviously do it too much because, um, yeah. But what that then does is fill up here with blood, which is pretty cool. Now, we can then start making things with this. So if we look at these, so one of the early things I want to make is a blood orb. Now, a blood orb, if we look at it, takes 2,000 um, LP, which uh, life player, I don't know, is blood. Blood essence. This is measuring LP, but we can't measure this at the moment because we don't have a way of doing that. But we'll get on to that. Um, and then we need these orbs to then start upgrading this altar because that's an altar but for example to get this blood orb here we need a tier 2 altar so currently what we have is a tier 1 altar okay and to make a tier 2 altar we need some of these blood ruins and to make the ruins we need some blank slates uh, and any of these orbs so uh, a weak blood orb will do and to get the slate uh, we just need to put stone in there. So, for example, it only takes 1,000, and I think it's 200 every time we do this. So, I think that's what it is. And there is a chance you can die when you're doing this. So, um, yeah. But I know we're, we're going to have more than 1,000 in there now. So, what we can do is take one of these, and I guess right click onto there. That's pretty good. Now, evidently, if this runs out, it's not disastrous, but it does lose some of the blood. So, ideally, you want this blood altar filled up to capacity. And there it is. Uh, we have ourselves a slate. So, that's pretty awesome. That's our little bit of um, infused stone inside a blood altar. Yeah, so we've got that. So, we can make a couple of those. 
to get this uh, weak blood orb um, and then we just use in fact yeah we just need a diamond in there to get the, the weak blood orb and then what else did we need uh, oh these the blood runes so the, to get the rune to upgrade the altar we need to get two of these blank slates so yeah I think I'm gonna work on that I'm gonna uh, stand here and prick myself as they say with my knife um, but yes and then hopefully as we progress we can find a way to actually measure how much is in here and that there is a device to do it I can't remember what it is uh, so I'll look that up and then perhaps we'll make that as well so we don't have to be guessing how much is in there so it's uh, yeah but it's gonna take a little while but I'll get that done uh, and come back when we've got those pieces I think we have enough blood in here now. Uh, the way it works is there's a overflow tank uh, which takes a thousand life points and yeah if the blood no longer sinks away you know you've got a thousand in there and I've done at least another thousand more so yeah but there is there's a capacity to it as well when you actually look at the blood altars um, I think it's actually tell me on here no, but I, th there is a capacity to it. I think the the different levels that you get are, uh, you know, they hold different amounts, so to speak. So we need to have a look at how to do that. So what we're going to do is make ourselves a uh, first level orb, which is going to be this uh, weak blood orb. Now to do that, we need to put a diamond in there. So uh, that's pretty easy. So let's just do that. Sort that out. Diamond in there and how many life points is that going to take that's going to take 2000 life points so i'm pretty sure there's 2000 in there so that should give us our orb and then once we've got our orb we are going to make ourselves a sigil but not just any sigil because there's quite a few different sigils in here and they all have different things that they can do but it's this one here so uh, a divination signal i think that's how you pronounce it um that's fairly easy to make it's one of these and those so yeah fairly straightforward so we just need a, a, a blood orb which I believe we can use apprentice blood or weak blood orb yeah so and one slate and then we've got those so that's that should be pretty easy um, this is obviously taking its time to do it and evidently when these particles if they go grey there we got it if they went grey it would mean that we've um, run out of blood so uh, you don't want to be doing that now how much does this sigil take let's have a look uh, where it gone so that's going to um, doesn't actually oh because because we do it's not taking blood to make it is it that's why duh okay so let's pop that in there we haven't got everything we need because we needed some glass and that didn't we right let me get that there we have our sigil yes our uh, don't drop the orb though that would be rather silly wild trucker uh, faintly glowing red <laughs> okay is that because i picked that orb off the ground how funny so if i now right click this on here it tells us there is 5000 life points in there and it's a tier one and the capacity is 10,000. so if we do this and i think each one is 200 so we now click on there, 6,200 in there. So yeah, it's uh, it's a lot easier now to actually work out how much whoa, how much we've got uh, and how much we actually need. And we probably ought to keep eating because all this pricking ourselves is not good for the uh, the body. Uh, 7,000 in there, we can get 10,000. That's pretty awesome. So we can now go ahead and start making some of these ruins, and that means that we can. Uh, get ourselves up to the next level so one ruin is going to take two slates each slate takes one of these in the blood and takes um, life points as you can remember uh, it takes a thousand life points so we need one of those takes two thousand life points and we need I think 12 of them so we are going to make yeah, I've got a feeling they go around the edge here. So no, we don't need 12. We need three, six, seven, eight of them. Um, so yeah, so that means we need 16. So we should have enough in there. So I'm going to uh, make up a load of these slates and get those done up. And then we can start making ourselves 
and some of those runes. Now we should have enough of these to make ourselves eight blood runes. So there we go, and another achievement. Uh, just engine stepping towards tier two. Yes, indeed. So I believe this is the way we put them down. And boom. And does that then give us a tier two? Tier two. So as you can see on there, the capacity is 10,000. And yeah, we've got tier two. Now we can upgrade these runes even more. So uh, if we actually have a look, uh, there's all sorts of options so um, capacity um, ruin of dislocation ruin or ruin of superior capacity so I do believe we can swap these things around ruin of sacrifice self-sacrifice efficiency speed so it's a bit like applying upgrades to them and as we make this altar bigger or higher tier up to tier six or wherever um, yeah we can start putting all these different ones in they're just gonna help us make this better faster easier to do um, because it's not all about coming up here and just sacrificing yourself and and that sort of thing so there are other things we're doing do and other things we're gonna get into but uh, yeah we have ourselves a tier two blood altar and that's awesome you know, I've been hearing a lot of funny noises while I've been here working at the altar, and I've just dug down here, and there's a lot of cobblestone, and there's these guys. Here's Pete. <laughs> Hi, Pete. And there's a couple more over there, and they seem to be different ones as well. Not quite, not quite sure what they are. They don't hit too hard, but they do hit. They got quite a big reach, so um, yeah. And this guy in the corner, more spawning. So um, I need some torches, actually. I have no means of lighting on me whatsoever. So I need to probably do light this up to stop these guys spawning. And then um, perhaps still just have a look in that chest and see what we've got. But yeah. And nothing too exciting, I guess, uh, from inside here. But some coin bags. 14 coin bags, yeah. I'll take that. That's uh, that's good enough, and uh, we'll take some of those bindings as well because we'll need those later on. But uh, the rest of it, nah. But maybe there's something we can do with this. Um, this depth depth school depth school from the abyss craft or abyssal craft. Yeah, I can't say things today. I'm saying ruins and their runes and yeah, all all sorts of things. So I think we'll just cover this over and forget it was even here for now we don't don't really need to worry about it too much that's lit up um, I guess we can sort it out once we get more progressive into uh, into this mod now having this thing here has given me an idea so let's see if we can get these guys to spawn a second uh, is that too light in there still how dark does it need to be there we go right let's get these back on again see if we can't get him in a safari net. Come here. Did we get him? Safari net depth school. Yes, okay, so we've got the ghoul in the net. That's fantastic. Uh, let's put these torches back on because we don't want that spawning anything else at the moment while we do this. So yeah, it, it got me thinking because we've got that there. Um, one of the things we could do is if we get this iron sword and place it in here okay so we are going to make this which is a dagger of sacrifice so it takes 3,000 life points in a tier 2 altar so that's what we've got at the moment so we're going to make this dagger um, now the dagger itself isn't very um, powerful but uh, yeah, we'll let that make, and I think what I'll do is I will go and sleep and show you what we're gonna do with it. So there's our dagger, which we can now take out. Now, let's uh, bring this safari net down here, because in here we have a sheep. And whilst this sword isn't very powerful, don't go over there though. Should have kept him closer, shouldn't I? Uh, yes. While this sword isn't very, very powerful at all, it's only got one hit point per, um, or yeah, one attack damage, shall we say? If you've got the thing you're attacking close to here, and let's see if we can take a reading there. We've got 600 life points. If I then do this here, it kills it 
instantly and then in here we've got 850 so it gives us 250 life points rather than just my own however it does say that other mobs this is going to be interesting we'll make it come to us give us more so we've got 850 in there at the moment let's do this there he goes let's see if we can do we get him now did that work or not that's what I want to find out Oh, look at that. 1350. So, um, yeah, from 850, 950, 1050, 1150, 1250, 500 hit points. Which is, or life points. And that's pretty good. So, if there's a way that A, I can move that spawner here um, and make them spawn around this altar, it's a quick way for me to get life points so we could just have them drop down and, and kill them um, or if we can't move it then we could just make a way of spawning them and bring them closer and then killing them and we can just suddenly get loads of life points and we can probably extend this so it holds more and yeah it's just just a bit easier and quicker than killing myself I think so something we'll have to work on I think so uh, yeah pretty good but anyway, I think that's probably going to do it for today, guys. We've um, we've done a fair bit of working. I've got started on this. That just looks so silly, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so we got started on this altar. We got into blood magic. We're in tier two, which is pretty awesome. Um, and we're going to be able to do some pretty cool stuff with this. So uh, join me next time, and we'll start delving into what we can do. Uh, but I think, if we're able to... Nice bit of Romulan Ale. Well, thank you for joining me, guys, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.